In this tutorial, I will show you how to create a DDP image with a DDP creator. The first thing we have to do is add audio files to our project. To do this, we have several options, like importing an existing CD or CD image, or by adding individual audio files. In the import menu, you can choose to import audio from a single CD or CD image. In various formats like a Q file, a CD architect image, or a Pyramix PMI file. And, of course, a DDP image. But it's also possible to add individual tracks by dragging them on the main screen or by using the menu function and open a single file or multiple files. Once the files are loaded, they are lined up as tracks with a different background color. Each track has a zero index and an index 1. The zero index is the pause between the tracks. On most CD players, this is shown by a countdown to zero between the tracks. The index 1 is the actual audio data from your file. The pauses are added by default when you import the files. If you don't want this, or want to change the length for this pause, you can change that in the settings menu. After all files are added to our project, we can start making the layout for our CD. It's important to unlock this button before we can do anything. Now we can do several things, for example. It is easy to change the order of the tracks by dragging a track to a new position, like this. You can also change the length of the pause by adding another value. To hear the flow from one track to another, you can use the play transition button. It will play the last seconds of the last track through the pause to the next track. Ok, when we are finished with the order and the spacing of the tracks, we can start adding data like ISRC codes and CD text. To do this, I'll first add CD text to the whole disk by pressing the CD text button. In this menu, you can change the CD text for the whole disk and also change the language and genre. For this example, I will only add a title and a performer. These two fields are also shown in the main screen, as you can see. Once we've added the disk CD text, we can add the CD text for the tracks. First, I'll add a performer for the first track. You will be asked if you want to use this for all tracks. I'll also add an ISSC code to the first track. Again, you will be asked if you want to use this code for all tracks, this time incremented. Now we have added all data and it is time to export this project to DDP. To do this, just select DDP image in the export menu. Select the destination and enter a name for the folder that will hold the DDP files. Now just wait until all files are created.